So we really have this huge opportunity, thanks to the shot and to what everybody is seeing happening, you know, as a result of the people who are taking it, to understand what all of us um, can benefit from, which is how do we actually figure out, is there suboptimal function of our own hormones? And how do we then, what tools do we use? What processes are involved in optimizing our own? So I'll pause there. Does that track for you, like kind of in a different way? Yeah, when I think of it globally, you, you know, we all talk about um, enzymatic function. So, you know, basically when you're trying to, you know, have homeostasis in a system, the ability of, or, or how I think of it is you can't pick your parents and you can't outrun a bad diet. So if genetically you inherit, inherit, you know, whether it's a, uh, a you know, a, a gene that has incomplete penetrance like BRCA, or if you have a gene inherited that is more of variable expressivity, like Marfan's FN, uh, AB1 or something like that, you know, basically, you know, from my understanding, you know, basically what you're saying is because we have that, and I don't know if you're saying it's, you know, a gene specifically, because there's probably a number of them involved, one that's got incomplete penetrance or variable expressivity, you know, our capacity is the problem. So if, if you're eating so many, whatever, so much sugar that you can't handle it, then enzymatically it's, it's, incapable of, you know, maintaining homeostasis. And then, you know, we, we get what we get out of that. So I always think of it like that in terms of, of genetics. 